I'm Sandy, and this is Sang. We recently left sunny California to road trip down Mexico with our dog, Tommy. We don't know how far south we'll go yet. We're taking it a day at a time. Join us for the adventure. We leave the Maldonado family in Camalú and continue going south of Baja, looking for our next surf destination. We meet Negro, who is a cute one-year-old that followed us from the gas station to the grocery store. He was following us everywhere. We also almost brought him on the adventure with us. We have come to love the Mexico One Highway. Although it is a narrow one-lane each-way highway, the scenery and the surrounding desert is so pretty and finding paved roads around here is a real treat, especially when your home is on wheels. After much bumpier road, we arrive. It's a surfer's tradition never to disclose a surfing location, so this little town will remain undisclosed. However, there are plenty of surf guidebooks available for you to find these locations when you drive down to Baja one day. Sang gets in the water and Tommy and I play at the beach. Dog, Tom Tom. I'm not gonna do the frisbee girl. Who's happy? <laughs> Tommy is so sandy. She had a lot of fun. The hostel that has rooms is closed for the month, so they let us just park and use their outhouse. So um, we don't have fresh water, <laughs> so we can't rinse. We're just gonna be like salty all weekend. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, and the water's so cold. Sang is so brave. I just rinsed my legs. I was gonna get it and I was like, nope. Water is chilly. Chili beans. But it's not too cold for Tom Tom. You're so brave, girl. Hey, you still wanna keep playing? Ah. great day. I'm happy we all did something. Sang got in the water and Tommy and I got to play. All right girl, let's go back. Chica, look at you. <laughs> we'll see if you can get back in the van. Man, we're all sandy. I'm sandy squared. <laughs> As with most small poblados, Everyone here is off the grid, 
there is no phone signal or electricity or water. Yum! Ah, oh, sweet, yes. Sang's making dinner. What a great day. Thanks for cooking. All right, we're kicked out, Tommy. We're really sandy. Oh, I forgot to rinse your Frisbee. <laughs> You're not allowed yet, Tommy. And neither am I. I look at my feet. <laughs> yeah, girl, yeah. So we decided we were way too uh, sandy for the van. I'm gonna grab some ocean water and then rinse off a little bit. <laughs> At least we're somewhat semi-clean. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do about Tommy. What are we gonna do with these Antam? Look how happy you look. <laughs> this is not a frisbee, girl. It's a bucket. It's a. This is a cool like camping bucket. Ta-da! So handy having all this compact sized things. Also, Sang and I have had the cold for like, <laughs> we've had the cold for like two weeks, continuously. Oh my gosh, can you imagine having a runny nose for two weeks? It's just so cold. It's so cold at night and Sang and I like to surf. So we get in the water and it's really chilly. We're feeling better now. Like, my throat isn't on fire when I wake up in the morning. It's a lot better. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Nights are chilly and the ocean is chilly. Oh, the waves are so good. Dang, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's perfect right now. so good I also used to not surf I just got into it recently but I've gotten into it really hardcore like these waves look so nice after bringing back some ocean water to rinse off our sandy feet Sang sparks a bromance with a new amigo a new friend they swap fishing surfing and road tripping stories into the sunset After enjoying the shrimp and crab stew that Sang made in our pressure cooker, we fall asleep under a clear, starry sky. The next morning, we wake up to a beautiful, bustling, misty ocean. The fishermen are hard at work, and the beach is filled with pickup trucks ready to load up the boats for the catch of the day. This surf break is a long, rocky right point with reefs in the bay loved by both surfers and fishing boats, as both used the same current to get outside into the ocean. We saw many sea urchin divers wearing thick hoodie wetsuits along with their boat crew, and together they were very efficient on getting in and out of the water. It's nice to surf surrounded by people who also have a passion for the ocean. We asked one of the sea urchin divers how their outing went, and he said, it went well, we both made it back alive. The entire morning, the ocean was hustling with activity. Sang comes in to reapply sunscreen, and I decide to join him during his second surf session. The fishermen are really nice and they greet us as they pass us on their boats. During our stay, the swell was pretty small. Great if you have a log, which is a long board, but not much for any other board. So I had a pretty hard time catching waves, but Sang totally killed it in the long board. On our way out of the water, we ask a recently arrived fishing boat if we can buy some of their fish. 
They tell us they'll stop by our van to show us their catch. Being that we're the only tourists in town, they easily find us and open their ice chest for us. Oh, there's lots of lobsters they around look here. Good. Yeah. Get in one or get in two, three. So I'm going to do it. See, it's too much to buy. Blanco or ship it? El Blanco. Regale el Blanco. Regale una bolsita. Ah, nosotros tenemos una bolsa. Okay. Mario, Mario, Mario. Solamente well, con dos. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it up here if you want. Yeah, Take them down there and okay. rock and. Ah, ¿a cuánto? No, 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 we already sold the white sea pass in the... Alright. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Well, it's okay. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay. Tengo buen día. Gracias. Alex. Alex, me llamo Sam. Sam? Sam. 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 The next morning, the men of the sea are catching fish and catching waves. Sang even makes a new friend. After surfing, San goes down to the beach to play with Tommy and hopefully get some tide information from the fishermen. Since we have no cell signal or internet, we can't check the surf forecast. So we're not sure when low tide is or when high tide is. We've been playing it by ear. While talking to them, one of their trucks gets stuck in the sand. The more the tire spins, the deeper it gets stuck. San goes back with her track pads.
funny thing is, after the truck is free, they then drive it deeper into the water to rinse off the sand off the tires. I guess they do this all the time. Uh -oh. Oh, no. It turns out the fishing boat can't be attached to the truck since it's too tall, even with the jack. So they try to improvise a solution. Alex arrives with his crew and they jump in to help. They attempt to add more weight to the back of the truck so it can hook up to their boat. brings in huge fish that were stuck on the net and subsequently half eaten by a bigger fish and they also caught a small shark. They load up their truck off to sell their merchandise. Thanks so much for watching this video and for being patient. These little fishing poblados that have awesome waves don't have great cell signal or internet. So we upload these videos once we reach a bigger city, which is not often. And we'll see you next time when we head off to the eastern coast of Baja towards Bahia de Los Angeles. Good girl. Yeah.